Hi guys! So it has been a super crazy week at work for me and I think next week it's going to be as crazy but today I have a quick bag review for you guys and I just got this bag last night oh, yeah it's kind of like an impulse buy I guess but I'll explain how I ended up with this bag and this is the Louis Vuitton bag. It is my first ever Louis Vuitton bag, if you can imagine it. Um, yeah, I've just never gotten around to buy a bag from Louis Vuitton. And <laughs> this is pre-loved. As you can see, the dust bag is the very old type. So what happened was, we went, me and my mother, we went ahead to buy a new bag for my aunt and it was like an impulsive buy the bag was on sale we thought that she would like it so we got it and in the end by the time we presented it to her she already had her heart set on another bag so she wanted to just take the bag and use it it was from coach so it was like a coach tote bag we said no you know because if that wasn't the bag that um, she really wanted then we didn't want to give it to her you know because it it just is I don't know I, I think a handbag if you're gonna especially if you're gonna use the handbag every single day I think it should be a bag that you really love so what we did was just to put the bag the coach bag aside and then we went ahead to buy her the Michael Kors bag that she really liked and so we are all really happy with the Michael Kors bag it just seems so much more worth it and it looks really pretty um, for the amount that it cost I feel yeah so okay so that aside now I had a coach tote bag lying around in my house and I know I wouldn't use it because I don't need a huge tote bag and plus the color is a kind of like a magenta pink which is not really my color I like baby pink <laughs> so yeah I searched around on carousel asking you know people if they wanted to trade their items with my bag and finally I found someone who was willing to and he was willing to trade this pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag authentic of course I checked everything that I could about the bag and um, I had to top up so yeah I gave him the coach bag and I topped up with some cash and I got this so let's take a look at the bag itself I think from the shape of it you can see what it is um, and this has been a bag that a lot of youtubers have done reviews on so I decided to pick it up it seemed quite functional this is the Louis Vuitton um, Petite Noé or Noé Noé or whatever <laughs> and um, it is in the black epi leather it is a very very old bag but I think the epi leather is holding up pretty well um, so if you have seen my bag collection video you know that I only have one black handbag which is my Chanel medium sized flap and then so I thought this would be a good addition it's just black it's very durable it's epi it's Louis Vuitton it's a classic so I'm just gonna try this out I don't really know you know if I'll use this a lot so from the date code right here it says um, 96 yeah this bag was made in 1996 it's a very very old bag it's coming to 20 years old now but still in good condition there is no like major scratches or anything the leather has softened up as you can see the hardware is fine I guess you know the hardware is definitely not a shiny gold it's like a brassy <laughs> gold and it looks overall okay for its age um, this leather bit here is pretty worn out and I'm thinking of changing it to the bando and inside the lining I hope you can see it's the um, like suede feeling material and it's not too bad definitely has wear but like there are no tears or anything and I'm sure you can't see inside but as usual I think most of these um, bucket bags are made in France yeah it's made in France to show it to you over here it says can you see it yeah so it just says made in France right here it also says 
Louis Vuitton Paris here. So it just says Louis Vuitton Paris here on the strap and underneath it says Made in France. So the only thing I don't like about this bag is the fact that, you know, because it has all these markings on the leather strap. I think, you know, due to age and due to the leather softening and then it has all these marks. I don't really like that about the bag. Um, but I guess, you know, you can't really help it because it's a super old bag. So if you're interested, I can do a review after I use this bag. In fact, I am going to use this bag today as I head out for some lunch with my sisters and we are going to go Mother's Day shopping for my mom, of course, and maybe something for myself. Um, yeah, sorry for the lack of posts and sorry for being late in replying your comments, guys. Um, I really didn't have the time to sit down and reply to all your comments, but um, hopefully I'll get down to it. Also, I wanted to mention, now this purchase I'm super excited about. I wanted to mention that I got myself a Nutri-Blast and, oh sorry, I got myself a Nutri-Bullet and, I don't know, it's just super fun to play with it. I don't follow the recipes because I'm not really into the green, green type of smoothies. I just really like the fact that this can blend eyes really quick. So I'm just making my own avocado milkshakes and whatever fruit smoothies that I feel that day and I think the next video that I'm going to do is a Zara haul but if not I'll just do a tag video because those are just easier to film. Okay guys so thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave your comments down below. I will try to get back as soon as I can. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. That's the thing that I say. I don't really know what else to say. And thank you so much for subscribing. I'll try to post more on Instagram as well. I know I've been really quiet on the social media front. Yeah, but thank you for all the love. Bye. He's having a bit of a runny nose. Can you see? Hmm. See you guys in my next one. Bye.